Good afternoon, church family. Welcome to another Pause to Pray on this Tuesday. I am hoping that I will beat the rain. It, uh, it's a bit cloudy up in the sky right now. Uh, it's rather mild, but uh, hopefully I will beat the rain. So yeah, welcome to just a time of prayer and being together. It's good to, yeah, seek our Father in these things. I've, I've been thinking a lot about how God is our Father. And I've actually, I've been doing a class on Thursdays through Emmanuel, just finishing off my degree. And it's, it's, the class is on the theology of God and humanity and, and even for a theology class. So, um, and we've gotten deep in, into some things. It's been amazing how I've just, how practical it can be and just be reminding of, of God as, as Father, of a good Father who walks with us and talks with us and you know who sent the Holy Spirit who also is God to commune with us and be with us and uh, it's amazing so yeah we're just going to pray to our God the Father today we're just going to seek him in in these things we have a couple things that we're going to be praying for um, yeah just really excited for what God is doing in, in Mitchell and and through this church family and through our community and and the Holy Spirit is is always at work and working and so yeah we're just going to be praying for a couple things um First one I want to mention is that, I mean, I'm really excited about it. I know Pastor Nate is, is that where uh, Pastor Nate, myself, and nine others were going to be off on a plane on Saturday morning. We're flying off to Guatemala um, to engage in a week-long missions trip, and we're looking forward to, um, yeah, being there with Arms of Jesus, Orphanage, and, and Ministry. Uh, we're going to be building some houses and working with some kids. Uh, I'm really excited. I love um, just being in a different culture and learning even I, I'm excited to that, you know, I think I'm going to learn more about God from them than they might learn from me. Uh, just their reliance and and their joy of, of being with the Father. And so, yeah, we're looking forward to that. So you'll be praying for us uh, as we leave Saturday and flying out. Pray that flights go well and we're able to get there and, and that everything would go smoothly and same with coming home. Uh, and then on that note, I mean, pray for our guest speakers. This Sunday will be James Park. Uh, uh, and then next Sunday will be Pastor Carter White. And we're looking forward to them. So you can be praying for them as they come and engage with you and teach you and um, be with you on those two Sundays. Uh, we just want to be praying for a couple other needs. Uh, we're going to be praying for Jan, who has pneumonia. Uh, she is Ken and Pat's daughter. Uh, we're going to be praying for Ron. Uh, from Ron, who husband of, of Ruth and, and wonderful couple in her family. We're going to be praying for him. Uh, he's actually been in the hospital on the weekend. I think he's home. Um, but he's had a, an infection, and so he's on... Uh, some medicine and they're awaiting some stuff so we're gonna be praying for them and just for healing and for recovery for him and then we're just gonna be praying for other needs in our church that maybe uh be unspoken we're gonna pray for results and and those who are sick and ill in our church and just surrounding our church family in just uh, a blanket of prayer so yeah let's just pray i'm just gonna take a few minutes of silence because i think it's important to just be listening uh it actually is starting to rain a little bit so hopefully i will feel in a sprinkle so uh but that's okay I can hear some thunder too. That'll be interesting. But uh, you know what? No matter what, let's just pray to God. He is good. Uh, he walks with us and, and just that the Holy Spirit is here. And so thankful for Jesus, our Savior. So let's just pray. Dear good and, and heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your mercies are new every morning. Father, fill us anew with your love and your guidance. Fill us anew with your hope and your peace towards us. Father, we know that you are with us, that as a church and as a family, we just want to do everything we can to make your name, your plan, and your will be glorified. Thank you, God, so much, and you are a, a good God, and so... Yeah, we just want to bring before you things of prayer and, and things of need. Um, Father, we just, we pray for, uh, yeah, our mission trip that's happening this coming week. Um, for the whole team, for the 11 that are going to Guatemala, thank you so much uh, for them and, and for their willingness to serve you in this way. Uh, God, we just are so thankful that there's people who are willing to go out and uh, serve you. Oh. 
Okay, I'm gonna, maybe I'll finish the prayer. It's starting to rain. That's okay. God, we're just, uh, yeah, we're so thankful for this missions team. We just pray for safety, for uh, flights as we fly out Saturday and we come back the next Saturday. I just pray that we would be impacted as we would impact those with the message of the gospel. Um, that there would be just the working of the Holy Spirit for the team, for the people that we interact with, even uh, with those that there's going to be a language barrier. Um, God, you you speak to all of us. It doesn't matter what language we speak. You speak to all of us. So uh, just impact us on this trip, and thank you so much, God. Um, Father, we just also pray for the needs in our church family, and, and uh, thank you so much for Ron and Ruth, and just pray for healing in Ron right now. Uh, he is such an amazing man of God, and, and it's been awesome even just for me to, to get to know him and, and learn from his and, and Ruth's life. And so I just pray that you would be with him in this time, maybe this sort of uncertain time. Pray for healing in his foot and in his body and, and through the medicine and through your will and through your name, Father, that you would just heal him. Father, we also just pray for uh, Jan, who is uh, Ken and Pat's daughter. I uh, just pray for healing in her body. Thank you, God, that you are, um, yeah, working in this family. And thank you so much for this family. And so she deals with pneumonia. Just pray for healing and for you to uh, be with her and protect her and protect her body. And, uh, yeah, we just pray for any other things in our church, Father. Those that are dealing with sickness and illness, we just pray for your healing. We pray for results that need to be um, said and, and God, you, for things to come to your fruition. We just pray, Father, for healing people's bodies in your name, in your will, in the name of Jesus, our Savior and our Lord. We just thank you. Um, we love you so much. And, and as a church family, we want to be able to provide and support each other. And we know that you are with them. For those that are sick, for those that have are struggling either with, with illness or with other things, Father, you know them. You know them personally and, and you know them because you you walk with them. And so, Father, just be with them. Pray that for all those, for, for Ron and for Jan and for those in our church. And Father, we do, we just pray against any sickness for, for the missions team, just going back to that. Just pray for uh, and that any sickness, that that wouldn't happen, that we'd all be healthy, a wonderful time. And thank you so much for our guest speakers that'll be here this Sunday. They get to be with us as a church family. And so thankful for them, their willingness to come and, and serve in this way. So, Father, the church family, we pray against any sickness, any disease, in your name and in your will. Father, because you are a good and wonderful God, and you speak to us. And you walk with us, and we know you heal, and it has to be in your name, no, and in your will, and in your power. And no matter what happens, we will still praise you, God. We will follow you with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our strength. God, thank you so much for your working. Just be with us as a church family from day in and day out. For those that are going on a mission trip, for those that are staying here, no matter where we are is the mission field. We're called to love our neighbors, to talk about you, Jesus, our Savior and our Lord. Holy Spirit, guide us, impact us, lead us to those around us. With your love, with your guidance, with your spirit. Thank you so much. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I'm going to uh, say farewell and, and hope everyone has a wonderful week and they're able to spend some time in prayer with us and, and continue. Uh, we won't have a, a pause to pray video next week. Um, it might be kind of hard to do it on location in Guatemala for Nate or I. Um, we'll just be praying for us and for the team and that, yeah, that we would be impacted, that we would impact others and for those here, um, for as a church. I mean, the ministry does, doesn't stop. Um, there's still things happening next week, youth group and all different things and, and mat making. And so just that we would be a church that impacts people globally as we are impacted as well, but also locally. Uh, so keep us in prayer and as a church, let's continue to serve our God, uh, to love our neighbor and to love God with everything we have. Hope you have a wonderful week. I'm going to get out of this rain and uh, have a wonderful day.